Hi, I'm going to be going over on how to create a search box in your ASP.NET. Um, let's go ahead and create a new project. And let's name this project search. And uh, let's go ahead and create a new page. name it search also all right so let's go ahead and go to the design view and add a text box and let's go ahead and also add a button so then we can actually uh, call it Great, now give us some room and let's go ahead and add a grid view. And leave, leave this grid view blank as we will connect it through the our code behind. And uh, let's go ahead and connect our database. So let's go ahead and view. Let's go ahead and establish our connection. My server I had already made in SQL Server, so I'm just going ahead and pull it through here. And uh, let's find a data stream called search. Test the connection, it's good. And as you can see here, I already made a table with um, the certain data already here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to actually be able to um, search for two categories. So we're going to go ahead and search for name and school. Now let's go ahead and open up the code behind. And um, let's go ahead and add, input using system.data and also system data dot SQL client and you want to go ahead and um, establish a connection so it's going to be SQL connection con dot new SQL connection configuration manager Oh, let's forgot. Need to also add configuration. There we go. And uh, go ahead and open up two brackets. And inside this bracket, you're going to have two quotations. And inside these quotations, what you're going to have is your connection string. And to find your connection strings, you want to go ahead and go to Server Explorer. And it should be. Your connection string should be when you try to connect and go ahead and click next and this is your connection string search connection string go ahead and copy that um, go ahead and just leave this blank and go back to your code behind and insert that here and to finish off you want to include dot connection string semicolon now, once when you establish your connection, um, you want to go ahead and go to the page and double click on this the button that you created. 
and inside here is what we're going to do to go ahead and write the codes. So we're going to first cr uh, create a string. We'll go ahead and give it a variable called find. And we're going to go ahead and create the SQL statement. So select all from the search table that I, uh, that's found in the database where name is like, go ahead and insert a wildcard at name. Another wildcard, or this is going to be your first variable or um, that you're going to find, and then this will be the second. School like Now, having the wild cards in between the variable that you have here on ASP is crucial. Um, it's going to be able to create, um, make sure that you're able to find it. Okay, there we go. And now let's go ahead and create a SQL command connection. Insert the string and also the connection. And now go ahead and call the SQL command, including the parameters dot add and inside here, you're going to go ahead and call the variable for this. So at name, comma, and now you're going to input SQL DB type dot n var char, followed by the value, and this will lead it to your text box. And you want to go ahead and copy this and do it one more time for the school. Now you want to go ahead and open up the connection, followed by the execute non query. Now you're going to establish an adapter, which basically uh, establishes the connection to the grid that you had created in the, the front of the page. Go ahead and call it DA, and then you're going to go ahead and call that and call the select command. And Go ahead and make it equals to com, followed by your data set. And now you're going to go ahead and um, call your SQL data adapter and make it into a fill, so dot fill. And what you're going to put in here is your data set. So DS comma and then the name. So this is the name of in your SQL. Well, it will go into the grid. Close it off and do the same thing for school. Now we're going to link it now to the grid. So the grid outside is called grid view one. So we're going to call that data source. 
equals ds. So now that we're establishing the connection with the grid, it's going to be the data source, which is basically we're linking it here. And then we're going to bind it. Data dot bind. And then now we're going to close the connection. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and save. And then we're going to go ahead and test it. Oops. Let's see. Okay, it's, let's maybe let's go ahead and try to rebuild the solution. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and try to rerun it. Input my name. Oops, maybe my name's not in there. Put in John. There we go. And there you have it. And then maybe if you want to put in for school, you put CPP. Maybe let's go ahead and see what's causing it to not show for school. Oops, there it is. It's supposed to be percent. Let's go ahead and try it again. There you go. So then now we have John and Emily that goes that are found in school. So um, there you have it. This concludes the search tutorial. Thank you for watching.